All right, friends, so if you haven't been watching the episodes, we just finally put our huge 20-foot B-17 into the air for the first time after six long months of flight. Now, we're not done with this yet. We gotta make this thing look beautiful, and we are gonna be partnering with our good friend Travis. He's a professional airbrush artist, a great guy from our community, to make this B-17 look just like a dear community member's grandfather's B-17 named Bomb Buggy. Now, Bomb Buggy is an amazing B-17 with an amazing story. It flew over 99 missions and brought its crew home safe. What we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be putting this in the paint. We gotta get this in primer, and then Travis is gonna be coming in and putting all the scale weather and all the details of bullet holes to really make this thing look amazing. At the end of it, we're gonna put up for one final flight before we're ready to finally do our laser tag battle. Now we have an amazing episode for you because we have a lot of work to do and also a huge shout out to our good friends at War Thunder who stepped up in a huge way to sponsor this final chapter of our B-17 to bring this into reality. Now War Thunder is a military vehicle combat game that you can play whether it's on your PC, Xbox, S or S, PlayStation 5 and the previous console generations. And no matter what platform you're on, you can enjoy gameplay with over 50 million other players from all over the world. And War Thunder has a lot of variety, with over 2,000 historically accurate planes, tanks, and helicopters, and even ships spanning over 100 years of development from the 1920s to present day. Now you can obviously tell the plane that we're most fascinated with is of course going to be the B-17 Flying Fortress. And the neat thing about this is you can take on many different roles while in this B-17 and also experience real physics, realistic combat damage, great sound effects, and beautiful music to really make the atmosphere come alive. So we have a ton of work to do on this B-17 to get it ready to fly for flight test. But you guys can immediately start flying with us online for free using our link down below in the description. And by registering, you're going to get some amazing bonuses like a premium tank, aircraft or ship, and also a three-day account boost. So go down and click that link, register and get all those free amazing bonuses. And we have to load up a big B-17 to take to the paint shop. Alright, so here's the deal. The paint room is pretty much all done. but. It won't be till later this week that we get the electric to it, so we can't run our compressor, unfortunately. But we got a plan B. Uh, Ted Gatz, the same gentleman that got me into auto body, is gracious enough. He's gonna move some car rounds. We're gonna load this up tonight. We're gonna get painted tonight. And from that point on, we'll be able to block sand it and get it ready for our good friend, Travis, who has an amazing airbrush artist. He's done things like Evil Knievel's museum bikes. And Travis is gonna be gracious enough to come down and put an amazing paint job on this thing. But we gotta get it ready and in space color before he arrives in just two days. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? So we got a bunch of PPG, uh, DBC base coat uh, sent from uh, Wink, our connection. What was it, the color source? Is that where it was from? Chris Gilstrap for single source. Okay. So he sent us a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of PPG DBC colors and then we went old school acrylic enamels or old oil-based enamels, just like they would have done. We're gonna do some brush techniques and stuff like that. How it had been done for a hundred years, uh, pinstriping wow. cars to lettering and everything. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna do a, a conglomeration of all kinds of so, stuff. We can't thank you enough. And, and, and this is really important to us because this is not just a big B17 we're gonna fly and, and have a lot of memories with. Uh, we're gonna be making this after one of our community members' grandfather's B17 specifically, right? Named Bomb Buggy. Uh, that plane is incredibly special. The people that obviously flew in are incredibly special. This has now gone from just a plane we fly to a way to honor those people, and you're making it to a whole nother level that we could ever do, because frankly, if we had to do it, there'd be vinyl on it. So this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be amazing, and it's not gonna be a pristine plane, it's gonna be... Oh, war, 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 what do they call it? War, war torn. torn. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna put some patina on it and give it some distressed look. And yeah, distressed planes is what we do at flight test. So, <laughs> yeah. all right, we got a lot of work to do. He's gonna load this up. We're gonna take you guys along the journey of painting this too, and hopefully have a couple quick tips uh, that you guys can learn from, but also apply to your models that you do as well. Uh, and I, I get to take this all in. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. So basically, you tape everything off and then you start going to work? Yeah, what I'm, again, what I'm doing is just setting visual perspectives for your mind's eye to, to pinpoint off of and then, yeah. So, yeah, tape everything off and, like, these are all going to be kind of the same color. Yeah. So, in the end result, we'll just tape and go through and do them all down and, you know what I mean? But, uh, so you think about a big project one step at a time, this is kind of like the foundational step that you build on. These are the foundation, these are the building blocks, the windows, the key locations, the parameters, make sure everything's in uh, in perspective, and then everything else will just fall into play. Love it. Love so. It. so we're currently working on putting our FPB combat system in a B-17. 
The plan here is to uh, put our sensors on the B-17 on the wings. We're going to do one on the top of the wing and one on the bottom in between the nacelles on both wings. So that way, no matter which way we're coming from, we can still hit the plane. These IR sensors actually receive the signal from the gun that's going to be on the other airplane. So when we hit these, it's going to actually make smoke come off of our engines. So we got these ones installed on our hatches on the tops of the wings. Now we got to cut holes in the bottom of the wings and get them put on there too. So what are we doing here? What we're doing here is we're going to use a 2X clear coat and against the flat of the paint and then we clear coat the lens or the glass basically and it'll give it a shine and it'll make it look to the eye and it'll make it look glossy and make it look like glass. That's amazing. So then when we peel it off and the contrast between gloss and flat, it'll give that illusion that it's really glass. Holy cow. Wow! It just came to life. Yeah, so it immediately comes to life. So then, and it don't have to be perfect and it's just, but you know, it just, let it soak in, we'll let it soak in. And again, so you can see if you do like, you know, from yeah. flat to that, it's like, it looks, ooh, it looks like glass. <laughs> just kind of a quick little trick. So we're just gonna go around and do all these, all these windows. Yeah, you can see why you put so much time into this because this really becomes a focal point. Exactly. Uh, that makes it stand off. Yeah, it gives the, it gives that proportion to the plane. It, it's a, man, it's a, Everything else is just artwork, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> For you, maybe. I... When we pull it off and we do our final trim, we'll, we're going to come back in and we'll do our drab green and our trim and then we'll clean the lines up and stuff around the corners and stuff and really trim it. It's going to give it so much depth mm. and just an illusion that it's real glass. <laughs> so, Dave, what are you doing? Right now, I am trying to cut the hole in the top okay. of the B 17 for the first turret. I'm really afraid to do it because this is a beautiful plan and I'm putting a hole in the top of it. Basically it's gonna it's gonna go in like a light bulb in your car where you it's spring loaded and you kind of push it in and turn it just a little bit and it has detents to hold it in place. And uh, that way we can change the battery. You just kind of turn it, push in, turn it a little bit and pull the battery out and put a new battery in and then pop it back in. Okay, so here's another cool trick. We want to bleed off the paint that's inside here and we want to run, run it through the airbrush because we don't want to use this. Um, so the easiest way, again, instead of paying 30 some dollars for eight ounces of pre-mixed automotive paint, we can just buy a five gallon, a five dollar can of 2X, which is a great product by the way. So to bleed that off, get you a plastic cup. This is one way I like to do it. I like to take a paint stick hardware paint stick it doesn't matter so what I'll do shake that paint can up and I'll stick that paint stick and I'll just hold it up and I'll just spray and you can see the paint in the bottom of the cup the paint just dripping off into the cup and this is a really really good quick easy trick to get all the paint out of the paint can so you can put it into maybe a spray gun or an airbrush or or maybe even dip your paintbrush in it and use it for paint touch up touch up where you sprayed before and you now you just need to touch it up you want to just dip a paintbrush in it so you just we're just gonna drain this can out all the paint and it's just collecting in the bottom of that cup we're just using that paint stick as a blocker and it drips right off that paint stick that's the end of that So I'm getting ready to test the pyrotechnic board on the B-17. We had a lot of issues last time when we did it on the Scout XLs and none of our smoke bombs went off. Thankfully, our big explosion at the end did. So this time I'm doing a little bit more testing and we're gonna make sure everything works right before we get it in the air. All right, so I got these smoke bombs ready. Um, we did some testing earlier. Two of these worked perfect, no flaws at all. We gotta go out and see which one we like best. So. The awesome thing is uh, when Matteo designed this system, you know, he built this pyrotechnic board. He made it very, very safe and reliable. He basically made it so you have to uh, arm two different things to get the pyrotechnics to even work. Nice. Um, it's just a real good redundant system so that way you don't have accidents. 
This is just to test the smoke bombs and see which one we want to go with. We nice. have a black one and I believe this is gray. We're just going to see which one looks the best Excellent. to know which ones we're going to go with. It is. That's terrifying. <laughs> It'll work really good. And the wind changed direction. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely gray. How's that? Lots of it too. Yeah. That's gonna look awesome. For the laser tag battle, it's not gonna be like what we did with the ME262 and uh, Glamorous Glen when we shot it up and blew up the ME262. Uh, or what we did with the Scout versus Scout when we were testing out the special effects board. We want the P-17 to be recycled over and over and over again. So the idea is that we'll have our friend Jason, we'll be flying it. We'll have two community members, or three maybe, um, in the turret shooting. And then David and I will be attacking the B-17, trying to shoot out the targets on the wings up above and below. Every time we hit a target, it'll pop a different motor with the smoke. Right, so that one's burn up. That actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it was going to. It did. Now we gotta try out the black one here. Yeah, I have it set on the 80% thing, and I think it has 10 shots, so... Uh-oh. Oh, oh great. Great. That never... Cool. <laughs> it's startling. Yeah. yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. Wow, wait. You look like a rocket in here. Yeah! Holy cow. <laughs> wow. I like that more. <laughs> You think we can uh, protect it to where yeah, we can get? Because I, I like that, that board. Work. And then I we've mean, got Jado rockets on the B-17. Can't go wrong there. That don't seem like it lasts as long, but that's very dramatic. Yeah, that's 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 the one I think we should. Go. Okay, deal. I love it. Well, what do you say? You mentioned some plywood holders. What if I start yeah. drawing on that? Perfect. And you tell me what you want. And um, this is gonna be really cool because when you shoot at an engine, you don't get gray. You get black. You get fire and soot and all that craziness. We'll we'll have our fire and soot right there. Right. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll even be able to add a little bit more weathering to the B-17 and it'll be natural because the, the soot like kind of sticks to it. Yeah, I love so it. So since we're putting it on the bottom of the engine, it'll leave a soot trail behind it on the wing. That'd be perfect. All right, we got work to do. We're in the process of distressing the plane or adding texture or dirt to it. Um, so this is a quick little trick, just, uh, just good old foamy glass cleaner that you spray in foam. So the trick to it is, is getting the texture you want. You want a, either a lot, or you just want to just squeeze the trigger and get you a little dribble dribble. Dribble dribble. Dribble dribble. Dribble dribble. So we're going to just, just demonstrate this here. So we're going to get just a little bit of a, you know, just a little bit of a dribble. We'll bring this down. Then take your airbrush and slowly just kind of go right over top of it and let it, let it do its thing. And then just with air, just come back and let it kind of start drying a little bit. And then just kind of Take a shop towel, come back, and just wipe it off. And it'll create a texture. It's very organic looking. Just another quick technique for distressing. Holy cow, Travis. Is it done? It's done. It looks Woo! amazing. It's done. Holy cow. I, the, the craziest thing, I can't even bring it all into camera. I know, I'm so small. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Brother, I can't thank you enough. Brother. Absolutely, this, this thanks absolutely for having incredible. me do it for you. Man. Oh, no problem. Now, now, Travis, you have your own business. You do this for other people, mainly with motorcycles, uh, restorations, custom jobs, helmets. Where can they find you at? Uh, they can find me at, uh, at there's tcconceptsllc.com on Facebook, or there's tc.concepts on Instagram. Beautiful. You just shoot me a message. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And we'll put all that stuff down in the description below because, brother, you have a gift. And, Thanks, uh, Thanks. This, That gift exploded all over this B-17. I enjoyed every minute of it. I love it, man. Well, yeah. thank you for the past few days. Thank you so much for Elise for, uh, for joining me. I love spending time with you guys. Yeah, likewise, likewise. Awesome. I've enjoyed it. All right, so we have a lot of work to do here. We're not done. It has a beautiful paint job. We got to get the turrets on. We got to get the motors mounted. More weathering once all that's done. And uh, she's ready for Flight Fest, and that means we're going to be flying this thing like crazy. Turrets, laser tag, explosions. It's going to be awesome. So make sure you come there. Travis, brothers. 
Thanks again. Thank you. All right, we got work to do. All right, so these are basically just $30 flight simulator sticks that we got off of Amazon. Two day delivery, worked out wonderfully. What Leslie's doing here is you're trying to find out which switches do which thing so we can tap into those sticks, right? Yep, so we've already got figured out how we're going to read the movements of it. Now we're just figuring out how to get it to read the switch. Now the cool thing about this is rather than people all holding individual transmitters and moving it around and stuff, this is gonna be much more immersive because they're actually gonna have a flight control stick similar to what we have in our FPV cockpit. And that's gonna give them the ability to have a lot more resolution, but also make it more real. Also make this more transportable. All right, so what, once you find this, what's next? Yeah, so uh, we just, then we're going to uh, set up our little board here to read the uh, potentiometers and the switches. That way we can have it give the input from this to a radio. So Wes is gonna be working on our control sticks. He has a lot of work to do. We're finishing up some final details on the B-17. Once that's done, we're packing up our B-17. We're taking it over to Flight Fest, getting it ready to go. Hopefully put a couple test flights on it, making sure everything works. And then we're ready for battle. All right, so we are at Flight Fest here. The day before it starts, these tents are 60 feet by 160 feet long. That's a testimony of how many amazing people come out. Every year we've had to have more space added. I think this is gonna be our best year yet. Uh, this front area here is where we're gonna keep all our monsters. Obviously bright, hot sun. We're gonna have 90 plus degree weather is not our friend. We're gonna go ahead and have these not only on display, but also in the shade here, and then we can pull them out at a moment's notice. But right now, we're gonna use this area to set this up and get it built. Do we have anybody land or? All right, so this is the final hookup before the test flight here. Jason McQuiston definitely did the best job out of all of us flying this, so he's gonna take this up for the final mating uh, as the official painted bomb boogie. And uh, we're just hooking up. It's a beautiful day. We got Flight Fest day number one here. Everyone's gonna be able to take in the experience. I'm double, triple checking, making sure I don't reverse polarity anything. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna fly this thing. All right, friends, before we take off this massive B-17, huge shout out to our friends at War Thunder for sponsoring this final chapter of the B-17 Taking Flight. Make sure you go down in the description below, start playing for free, and get all those amazing online perks. All right, so Jason's going through the final pre-flight here, and uh, it looks absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So Perfect, is your differential on right now? No. We, we uh, put it on. It's, it's, it's that different. one right there, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, give it a check to make sure, but yeah. Okay. How are you feeling about this, Jason? The sun okay. so, is my only concern. That well, you can land down, down there. The yeah. the All right. All right. We're ready. Are we ready? We're ready. So you guys ready? Michael, you gonna get up? Yeah. All right, Jason, you got this, brother. Get rowdy! I'm excited. Are we good? Let's do it. All right, Lord, make it fly. made what was that uh, up trim down trim down trim look <laughs> at that <laughs> Good so, fly, so Jason you have it your eight foot one how's this flat compared to it about the same actually about the same yeah does it feel a little bit better than our first flight yes all right wow it looks so much better too can I turn a little bit before the sun here It is gorgeous. Flies just like the first time. Oh, wonderful, brother. <laughs> what a relief. We put a ton of paint on this thing. We put a ton of gizmos. We got the ball turret. We got the chin turret. We got the top one. Um, we had about two gallons of paint on it. And it looks incredible. All right, we're ready? Yeah. A little power. Go back, line up. Here comes a nice pass. Give you guys a round of applause. Great flying, Jason. I am humbled. This is now this guy's airplane. Great work, Jason. Look at that. It looks like you have no problem with power either, huh? No, there's there's half. <laughs> Incredible. 
So I'm gonna take a couple steps out here in this try landing, and I'll uh, I'll guard Miss Haley here on the camera. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be right at her feet. So is that okay for you, Jason? That's fine. Yeah. If I have to, I'll grab you. One minute is fine. Make sure you tune into the next episode. Hit that subscribe bell. Tell your family and friends because now we're going to take two of our favorite community members. We're going to put them behind the sticks. They're going to be in the ball turrets. Laden tag. Now, Dave and I, we get to try to shoot this guy down. Make <laughs> All sure right. You ready? Yes, sir. Great Let's work, man. It. See you next time.